Bonjour les amis, eh ben vous avez vu le protocole, le protocole contre le cancer est fait. Euh, je vous détaille exactement ce que vous pouvez manger. Alors, euh, je tiens à préciser, ce n'est pas ce que je fais, c'est ce que peuvent faire les gens qui ont un cancer. Je ne fais pas tout, je suis beaucoup plus dur avec moi-même. Et donc, euh, je vous propose ceci traduit par Google parce que je n'ai vraiment pas la force de tout recommencer en français. Cancer Protocol Disclaimer Whether you decide to do conventional therapy or not, it is recommended that you do this protocol as your foundation. For those people also doing chemo, radiation, they too can benefit from this same protocol as the nutrients and diet below may also help protect against the side effects and damage of chemo and radiation. This data, diet, nutritional protocol is not a treatment or replacement for any medical treatment or prevention for any medical diseases including cancer and is only research data. No promise of any claim is given in this document. The higher level strategy is to target cancer's weakest link which is the metabolic enzyme called SCOT, abbreviation of the longer chemical name. You can look at SCOT as a door to cancer's food and building blocks. If left open it will keep it growing. There are two ways we will block SCOT 1, specific herbal compounds which chemically block SCOT and 2, reducing dietary fat and their byproduct called ketones. It is a lot more complex as you can see below. There will be additional strategies as well. One is to inhibit those factors that affect the growth of cancer, called proliferation. The enzyme that controls growth in the body is called MTOR. The most powerful way to turn this off is through, one, fasting and two, a low-protein diet. Arginine and glutamate are two amino acids that also must be reduced. The diet listed below will give you examples of foods to eat. All the herbs recommended to help block SCOT also have additional anti-cancer properties. Fasting daily and periodic prolonged is the most important action to implement when addressing cancer. This is because of the following. 1. It works epigenetically, which means it controls our genes in the direction of anti-cancer effects. 2. It stops MTOR, the growth factor. 3. Decreases IGF-1, another growth factor. 4. Increases immune stem cells giving you your immune defense. 5. Stimulates autophagy, which rids damaged mitochondria and inhibits inflammation. Carbohydrates also can feed cancer, so your carbs must be low. Cancer hogs sugar from the rest of your cells, however without getting too far into the weeds, it takes large amounts of carbs to feed cancer. This is why some carbs will be okay but keep it under 50 grams of net carbs per day. Net carb is taking the total carb and subtracting the fiber. Fiber being a carbohydrate cannot feed cancer so the food's recommendations should be high in fiber. Fiber keeps your friendly bacteria thriving and they are a big part of your immune system. The carbs to eat are vegetables. Certain types of vegetables fight cancer more than others especially cruciferous vegetables. Filled circle arugula, filled circle bok choy, filled circle broccoli, filled circle brussels sprouts, filled circle cabbage, filled circle cauliflower, filled circle collard greens, filled circle horseradish, filled circle kale, filled circle radishes, filled circle root. There are some fruits that can also be eaten, however, not too many because of the higher sugar levels. The fruits recommended do have anti-cancer properties, fiber and are lower on the glycemic index. Adding some of these will help slow down weight loss but keep the carbs under 50 net carb. Filled circle crab apples, filled circle berries, filled circle figs, filled circle ajwa dates, filled circle tart cherries, filled circle muscadine grape. In this plan, we will use a combination of strategies, one OMAD, one meal a day, and periodic prolong. Two diet, low fat, low protein, and low carb. At the heart of this diet is vegetables, especially vegetables that have anti-cancer properties. To maintain weight, certain lower glycemic fruits can be eaten. There is one type of dietary fat that is acceptable, omega-3 fats. 3. Key Herbal Supplements Diet Asterisk The diet recommended for cancer is not the same diet to prevent cancer. 
The diet to help prevent cancer is the ketogenic diet, high fat, moderate protein and low carb, and intermittent fasting. Cancer uses a different metabolic pathway, so the diet macros needs to be different. Here are some specific points. 1. The lion's share of food should be vegetable, especially cruciferous vegetables. A. Unlimited but at least 10 cups per day. B. Avoid corn and soy. 2. The fruits you can consume were chosen for their lowered amounts of sugar, nutrient density and with anti-cancer properties. You will not be exceeding 50 grams per day of fruits. A. Crab apples B. Berries C. Figs D. Adjua date C. Tart cherries F. Muscadine grape. 3. Fats feed cancer, except omega-3 fatty acids. Fatty fish has high amounts of omega-3 fatty acids but fish also is high in protein. However, cod liver can't is 20% omega-3 and low in protein not to mention high in vitamin D and A consuming this 2x per week could be done.